Hello dearest, today I want to explain how we can form partial differential equations. Formation of partial differential equation first by the elimination of arbitrary constants and second by the elimination of arbitrary functions. For arbitrary constants, if the arbitrary constant is to be eliminated is equal to the number of independent variables, then the partial differential equation we obtain will be of first order. But if the number of arbitrary constants to be eliminated is more than the number of independent variables, then the partial differential equation may be second or higher order. For elimination of arbitrary functions, the order is equal to the number of arbitrary functions eliminated. We have these notations, partial z with respect to x equal to p, partial z with respect to y equal to q, and so on. Let's solve uh, two examples. We have these examples. Let's solve example one. If we differentiate the relation z with respect to x and y, p equal to partial z with respect to x equal to 2x y squared plus b. Then y squared plus b equal to p over 2x. We know p equal to partial z with respect to x. This time with respect to y, q equal to partial z with respect to y equal to 2y x squared plus a. Then x squared plus a equal to q over 2y. Q equal to partial z with respect to y, we get this relation. Now, substitute equation 1 and 2 in the main equation, we get the partial differential equation. Yes, we just substitute. We know 1 over 2y partial z with respect to y equal to x squared plus a. We put it instead of this term. And 1 over 2x partial z with respect to x instead of y squared plus b. If we simplify this equation, we get partial z with respect to y times partial z with respect to x equal to 4xyz. This time we have to eliminate the function f from the relation to form partial differential equation. Let us differentiate this equation with respect to x and y. With respect to x, we get 2f prime 1 over x plus log y times minus 1 over x squared. If you multiply both sides by minus x squared, we get minus px squared equal to 2f prime 1 over x plus log y. That's equation 1. And with respect to y, we get 2y plus 2f prime 1 over x plus log y times 1 over y. If you multiply both sides by y, we get this relation. That's equation 2. We know uh, the term 2f prime 1 over x plus log y equal to minus px squared. If you just put it instead here, we get the partial differential equation. From equation 1 and 2, we have minus px squared equal to qy minus 2y squared or x squared p plus yq equal to 2y squared. Also, we know p equal to partial z with respect to x and q equal to partial z with respect to y equal to 2y squared. That is the partial differential equation of the first order. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.